Hi everyone! So for this video, I am going to be showing you how I made this Filipiniana. Filipiniana is a cultural clothing for the women of the Philippines. It consists of the structured and exaggerated shape of the sleeves. There are many variations of the Filipiniana, but this is the most famous one. There are now a lot of modernized Filipinianas, so I'm going to make one for a friend that she's going to wear for her graduation party. Pattern making is the first step in making clothes. Here is the sample for the Filipiniana and I've marked out where adjustments are needed. I made this sample out of the foundation blocks that I've made according to the measurements of my friend. Once I've finalized my sample, I then seam ripped open the seams and finalized my pattern papers. Then I proceeded into cutting the fabric. For this project, I am using a lighter shade of gold in silk. I cut two sets of the bodice patterns, one for the lining and one for the outer layer. I also cut the interfacing pieces and ironed it down. The side with the interfacing will be the outer layer. This was the embroidered fabric that we saw on the fabric shop. It was the perfect color we were looking for and it was also on sale when we got it. I'm laying the embroidered fabric on top of the interfaced pieces so that I can see what the flowers will look like. It's important at this point to make sure that there are no pearls or gems on the way of the seam so that when you sew it under the machine, you won't break your needles. Or worse, ruin your sewing machine. I followed a pattern making Filipiniana sleeves tutorial by Sen Hontomen, and I'm going to be linking the video on the description box below. So if you're interested, go ahead and head over to her channel and watch the video where she explains the process. She also has a video of how to sew Filipiniana sleeves, but because my design was different, I had to do a different method. So that I will be sharing with you. I am hand sewing the embroidered fabric and the silk with the interfaced back together so that when I sew under the machine, both fabrics won't move around and they will act as one piece. These are all my bodice pattern pieces for the outer layer. Pin them right sides together. Now it's finally time for sewing. I sewed them right sides together and this was the result. Do the same thing for the lining. I overlock the edges just to avoid fraying. If you do not have any overlocker, you can use a zigzag stitch. I then ironed the seams flat. Moving on to the skirt, I cut this pattern piece that I've made. She wanted a mid-length pencil skirt with a slit on her left leg. I'm drawing the darts on the front and back panels so that it's easier for me to pin and to sew. And then it's time to sew the front and back panels right sides together. I went to my ironing board afterwards and ironed down the darts and the seam allowances. This will avoid wrinkles on the stitches. 
Now with the remnants of the embroidered fabric, I am going to take strands like this and place them on the waist in a way where it seems like they are draping down. I played around with the placing of the flowers, but once I was satisfied, I pinned them to the dress and started hand sewing. This way, I am sure that the flowers will stay where I want them to be. I took my outer layer bodice and pinned it to the skirt which had the flowers. I sewed them right sides together at the waist. This is what it looks like. I've already done one sleeve at the moment just so that I am sure that I know what I'm doing on the second sleeve. It was my first time making a Filipiniana and I found it quite hard. I will be sharing with you later on on what I would have done differently on the Filipiniana. Going back to the lining bodice, I am going to be sewing down the seam allowances. This will act as boning cases. Just make sure that there is enough room for the boning. This time, face the lining skirt and the lining bodice right sides together and sew. Make sure that the seams are aligned. Then I overlocked the edges. If you're wondering what happened to my hands, I bought a rotary cutter and tried it out but I cut myself. I inserted the bonings through the top. I left approximately 1cm allowance for when I sew the lining and the outer fabric together. I cut out this part of the embroidered fabric because I had an idea and I wanted to incorporate it to the Filipiniana sleeves. I firstly cut the interfacing of the Filipiniana and in this case I'm using a heavy weight interfacing which was what made the project really hard. It was hard to bend, it was hard to sew under the machine and I broke needles because of that so if you're making a filipiniana i will suggest using a medium weight interfacing after cutting out the pattern pieces on the fabric i laid the interfaced silk right sides together with a scrap of fabric that is enough to cover it and sewed i ironed this edge here so that it lays flat I then smooth out the fabric to make sure that there's no crumpling and it covers the whole pattern. I then sewed really close to the edge and cut out the excess fabric. I laid the embroidered fabric on top and pinned it. I hand sewed all around the edges so that the embroidered fabric will stay in place. I had to use a thimble because it was too hard to push the needle through but if you're gonna use a medium weight interfacing, I don't think you would have any problem. Following Sen Hontomen's tutorial, I pleated where the markings of half inches are. Use as many pins as you need and I didn't do it here but I think it would have been better if I hand sewed the pleats first before running it through the machine. The problem that I had was when I removed the pins for sewing, the pleats will constantly move a little bit and that will make the size bigger. So I had to sim rip and do the pleats all over again. But after getting it right, it is important to iron down the pleats so that they stay in place and they are flat. I cut out a strip of fabric that I will use as a bias tape. By the way, this was the rotary cutter I was talking about. Anyway, to prep the bias tape, I'm going to be folding one edge and ironed it down and fold the other one and ironed it down as well. So I faced them right sides together but with the trim that I cut out earlier in between. And then I flipped the bias and folded it again and sew. I am using a candle to close the edges of the bias tapes. This will have a cleaner finish and it's just a lot easier. I face this right sides together and sew. 
Going back to the dress, I faced the bodices right sides together, making sure that the seams are aligned. I then sew. I also did under stitching on the neckline so that the lining wouldn't show through when worn. On the curved and pointed edges of the neckline, I am going to be snipping the seam allowances like so so that tension will be released. I ironed it so that it lays flat. Next part is making the slit. I used a strip of lightweight interfacing for this part. And then with the remnant fabric, I cut out the same shape. I ironed it down afterwards. I marked where the middle is. On the skirt, I marked the line already where I wanted the slit to be. Facing right sides together and I aligned the lines. I sewed around the line as close as I can. This is what it should look like. And then I cut out using the line as my guide and at the edge cut towards the two corners I pressed the seam allowances so it lays flat I understitched all around the slit again going as close as I can I pressed it so that it lays flat. I sewed around 1 cm from the slit. I'm cutting a strip of fabric that I'm going to be using as a belt or a waistband. This will separate the bodice to the skirt. I then pressed it so that it lays flat. I attached it to one end of the waist to the other. The last part of the process is adding the notions. Examples of notions are zippers, hook and eye, snaps, and buttons. I used an invisible zipper for my enclosement at the center back. I also added snaps to the Filipiniana sleeves so that it can be detachable. I made her detachable straps as well so there are three ways that she can wear the dress. As a tube dress, as a strap dress, or as a Filipiniana. This was her on the day with her mom. I think they both look very lovely. I also made her mom's two-piece outfit. She bought the two-piece set from Divisoria in the Philippines, but she wanted a different style. I'm really thankful for them for entrusting me their outfits for such an important event. If you like this video, like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram.